All right, guys, Mish Kaplan here playing some top lane Singe. Going to be proxying this game. We have Mr. Tyler1 on the team. We have him with a Ramus AD carry and a Pike support. Or sorry, he is on Pike support and he has Ramus AD carry. I'm playing top lane Singe here. I am laning versus a Silas. And we're going to be doing some proxy Singe. We're going to be trying to uh, carry, Mr. carry Mr. T1. So we have to go ahead, go ahead and scout... Uh, Vi oh over there doing her red. Got a level one proxy this game. As you can see, I warded the, the tri bush before we started recording. And all that means is that I'm just able to. Excuse me. I'm just able to scout and see if Silas is sitting in the bush to see if he's going to prevent level one proxy. Um, and if he's not sitting there, then we can assume one of two things. Either he is protecting the red buff, uh, or sorry, leashing the red buff, or he is in lane. This game he was in lane because she was doing a leashless. And then I scouted it, so we know where Vi was. Then we're going ahead and clearing third wave over here. I do have a Doran's Ring 2 potion start. Just experimenting a bit, seeing if it's good, seeing if it's bad, seeing if I like it or not. Um, it does feel pretty good for what it's worth. It feels it feels better than um, Dark Seal, but that's not to say that Dark Seal feels bad. Dark Seal still feels pretty good. It's just that I think that this feels a bit better because the potion value did get nerfed a bit. That being said... Um, Rocks another wave here. Ramus bot lane actually first bloods. Wow, 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 wow. Nice. Love to see. We're gonna be a fourth wave here. Usually you can't do fourth wave, but I know that their jungler is pathing for bottom, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a fourth wave anyways. And go ahead and take a little execute here. Executed. Very, very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and buy. So I'm gonna go amp tome here. The reason why I'm going amp tome here is because I I just don't know like you know whether or not we're gonna have um, the need for boots yet. I'm running aftershock here, so it's not super important to have boots. It's nice, but I want the amp tome to just be able to have uh, have the ability to push the Silas in, have more AP than him, um, and just be able to like gonna be a threat. Like if I have boots, it's fine. And boots start actually I think low key right now on Singed versus I melee top lane is actually quite good because of the passive buff. Even if you're not running Predator, right? Like, obviously, if you're running Predator, Boot Start is good, but even if you're not running Predator, Boot Start is actually pretty decent still. But I just wanted AP to push the wave. Dude, his Conqueror fully stacked, he gets 62 AP. And then without it fully stacked, he gets 33. So not bad. Um, then I, ha I have about... a decent amount as well, which is good. Okay, just looking to clear here. We want to keep Silas pushed under his tower as long as possible because I don't want him to be able to harass me under mine. There's a big thing of Singed. With Singed, if you cannot generate lane priority, you're going to be having a bad time under your tower. Unless you're unless you're like around level one or uh, sorry two or three. If you're on level two or three, then you're trying to play near your tower on purpose sometimes to try and fling them into it and see if you can get a kill. But whenever you're past like early laning phase of Singed and you're entering like that that more mature stage of laning phase, then you have to think about whether or not it's better to just start pressuring your lane instead. And here I want to pressure the Salus because he's I'm having him near my tower is not gonna accomplish much. Like I could maybe solo kill him, but I would lose so much harm in the process trying to solo kill him, just trying to like just taking harass from Silas and then like taking trades and stuff like that. That's probably not worth it. But the reason why you are you should try and do it around like level 2 or 3 is because that's when you're not strong enough to push waves like this. Okay, he's low mana so we're going to go ahead and see if we can if we can fancy another wave here. Yeah, I, I can't believe that uh, Tyler1 with Ramus 80 carry is winning bot lane here. Pretty interesting. Hey. Ignite there because he overextended. Alright, not bad, not bad, not bad. Got him. I'm not sure why he just ran into me like that. I think he thought that he had mana for W. But even if he had mana for W, I'd probably still like Excuse me, at least make him back off with the Ignite. I got a tower plate there too, which is good. There's his TP. Uh, okay, what did he buy? Let's see. Double Amptum Dark Seal. Okay, interesting. That is a fully unhinged purchase. What the hell is that? Interesting. I, mean, I, I get the double amp tone, but what's up with the dark seal? He's not gonna stack it, because like, I guess maybe if he gets lucky. Okay. Okay, bot lane ram, all right. It's nearly time. Not bad. Do we credit Tyler for that, or do I just say top diff? What do we say here? 
All right, he's pushing top in. Just gonna go ahead and grab this wave. Yeah, he has 88 AP with these items. I think I have like 93. Which is kind of crazy, considering that my I have a, a full blasting one, so it's like, wow. But yeah, um, I should explain the Aftershock a bit. So Aftershock here is just something that I've been I've been playing testing. It's actually one of his highest win rate keystones right now. Um, it's even higher than Conqueror, actually, which I thought was crazy. Um, Conqueror, actually, not that high win rate right now, interestingly enough, which is kind of... Didn't expect it, but... Um, I'm not saying Conqueror is bad. It's obviously still good, but... <laughs> I think more people should try out Aftershock before they knock it because it is it is quite good in the late game for, for surviving and in the early game for taking these little trades it is quite good as well. I don't know if I can take that red yet. I'm just going to go ahead and keep proxying here. I'm going to be trying to do as much farming as I can. I already have a solo kill but I want to get more if I can. I'm pinging. Okay, so let's see if we can invade this red. Let's see if we can. I have I have Pike in mid and I have Akali in mid. I, I wonder if we can just do this. I'm trying to get people over here. Okay, I caught the... Or I see the Vi. Caught her on W. Oh, I missed my Goofling. Fuck. Nice! Let's go! Just body block her Q. Okay, I think I'm just gonna run back to, to, to Proxy here because... Okay, he boarded that. I'm just gonna run back to the lane here. This plate's pretty low. Let's see if I can grab it. Nice! Okay. Doing pretty good so far. I got a plate. I got half another plate. I think we're just going to shove this in. I think he's coming back top now. I, I, I can't tell where this... There he is. Oh, yo. Hey, watch out. Watch out, Pike. Mr. Tyler, watch out, buddy. Okay, Pike stole uh, his ultimate. I got to be careful. Mr. Cookie Monster 123. Okay, I'm going to be rushing Demonic this game. They have a uh, triple melee. They have triple melee, so Demonic is quite good here. Can't let them know that that's the order. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, Pike's running mid, so I can maybe get another play here. I'm not sure where Diana's going to go. Who also went for a Doran's Ring Dark Seal Star. What is up with that? What is up with everyone doing that? Is that normal? Like... Am I am I missing something in the in the AP atomization trend? Even like I I don't know. I say Kali's Dark Seal too, but no Doran's ring on her. But both of those both of the champions on their team that use mana and our AP both went Doran's and Dark Seal. So I'm just thinking like, is that worth it? Better not better just get an Amp Tome? I don't know. Ramus bot lane with another kill. Very nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right, that's another plate for me. I'm getting a lot of gold value from plates this game. Holy moly, dude, we're gonna keep proxying here. Yeah, I have uh, enough money for Demonic on my back. Demolish is so useful, by the way, for whenever you're even slightly winning lane, you can just nab a tower plate usually. It's so good for that, big fan. I considered running this page with uh, with uh, Celerity Water Walking or like Nimbus Celerity. I think Water Walking might be a little bit better right now because so many fights happen around Bear, uh, Rift Herald and um, Dragon. So water walking is big value, but I like Ultimate Hunter as well. It's quite nice to have Mix. for the Ultimate CD. And I guess I could run this with like Relentless too on um, the After Truck page because Relentless is quite nice as well and Singe. Uh, can we kill her? Let's go over there. Let's see if we can get her. I have money to recall, but if we can just grab the kill, then might as well. She's, she's kind of free right now. Okay, she ults the W down. Okay, she procs phase rush, I'm gonna go ahead and ghost at her. I'm pretty sure I can just get her. Okay, there's the fling. Ah! Ignite, nice, got her, let's go. <laughs> I could've just ran in her tower and, and autoed her or something, I guess, but... I don't know where their jungler is, so why take the risk? Why take the risk? Alright, a few more tower plates here. Oh my god, that's four plates, I have so much gold. Ooh, Tyler won with the Pike Snipe. Very nice. See, I'm worried though because they they got a few kills bottom, but they're losing hella plates. Losing a lot of tower plates bottom. I think I just grab this on next wave. I could try and grab it here, but that fourth tower shot will probably kill me. Ever, ever since they fixed the tower shot not ramping damage bug, yeah. Alright, this is very nice. Let's get out of here. 
Okay. I feel like we're just outplaying them at literally every opportunity. But feels good. Okay. So, for boots, let's go ahead and go... Thinking Swifties here. And the reason why is because their Sivir is just not very strong right now. She might get strong later, we'll see. But no other team has any kills, and movement speed's useful. Um, so basically right now, the boots matter for Singed is if you don't have any other op- Like, if you don't have a strong case to build Mercs or Tabby, then I just go Swifties. Because the flat movement speed that you get from Swifties is so good for Singed passive now. That extra 5% really helps put it over the edge, I think. Let's see if we can get her. Get some damage on her. Nope, just all on her shield. And all of it, a decent chunk. Okay, I'm gonna head back top here. And here's a situation, here's a situation where water walking would actually be quite good, is whenever you're running between top and mid like this, but... Heal up a little bit. I think it's a bit more useful on, uh, on Predator pages. And I'm actually experimenting with a Predator page right now that involves water walking. That's actually quite good, so we can kill this guy. Okay, I have Demonic. I should just be free. He has 180 AP. No conqueror. Wait, once, oh, he stole my ultimate. Okay. Okay. Okay, does he get it? Nice. Let's go. Pike with the Pike Snipe. He's not even worth 300 gold, he's worth 274. He's got 274 off that. <laughs> okay, yeah, I might go in their base actually. This is kind of, we're kind of really far ahead. Guilty if I can grab these Krugs before I have to recall. Again, I have a lot of gold right now. But with Demonic, you can farm this Krug camp pretty fast. You also, you also take a lot of damage because you're singed. Oh no, they aggroed her. Rip my bad. I poked them out too far. Or pulled them out too far. Your turret has been destroyed. Most of the gold is in those little ones, so rip. Just gave her a bunch of free gold. Not the biggest deal in the world, though. We'll go ahead and grab this. Ain't not bad. And looking at the top wave, I think I might. No, I don't have any HP or mana. That's not worth it for me here. Not worth it for me here. Looks like the team wants to fight. Let's go ahead and walk over here. Okay, Drag is in three minutes. Herald is in minute 33. I think we just forced that second Herald as a team and throw it mid because we lost mid tower and bot tower actually, which is kind of bad. Because we have no AD carry, so it can be a bit rough here. Oh. Okay, they're running bottom. On my way. Let's see if I can help out my boys here. Yeah, I, I I don't know. Like I think they're just trying to like chase Ramus here. Like what's okay? Let's go. Oh wait, Pike didn't run. Okay, or not Pike? Tellus didn't run. Pulling him back. Oh no, he missed the ball. Okay, that's fine. Still decent. Yeah, as you can see, the passive does end up going pretty quick. Okay. Let's get it, boys. Goofling on the Diana. Not bad. Can I catch you? No, let's back up. You can watch this tower and grab it. This Vi is split pushing top, though. That's going to be a bit of an issue. Oh, Akali. Nice. Yeah, that Star Guardian recall is so loud. God. When I hear that Star Guardian recall, all I can think of it is yelling, give me attention. That, that's what you're paying for with that skin, or the Star Guardian skins, you're just paying for attention. Even if it's bad attention, it's just attention. I'm like, oh hey, that recall is so annoying, now I have given her attention. I hear you. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Oh, they're doing Herald? Are they trying to? Yeah, they're trying to. Whoa, that Sivir is doing some damage. That's kinda bad. Oh, oh, that's really bad. I have to try and kill this. Let's go. Oh, she's so fast. I should have just chased the other way. Yeah, my bad. I should have just went the other way. Can I stop them from killing Ramus here? Getting a bit kited here, unfortunately. Okay, ults back up. I think she's heralding. Yo, I think she's heralding. I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, here she is. Oh, I couldn't stop her. 
I just messed up my W. I should have put it down. I, I don't even remember if it was on cooldown or not. It's my bad. Either way. I get the crab, hopefully. Okay, this should help, like, stop them from sneaking it. I, Vine can still kind of sneak it over the wall, though, gotta be careful. Ooh, he flashed up a die drip. Yo, Sivir hurts, man. Ah, I walked into it. Okay, Akali, I did a lot of damage to them with Demonic and Poison. Okay. Akali, not bad. Oh, Tyler goes down. Ooh, Tyler is down. Run, buddy, run. We're gonna see some hashtag Akali mechanics. Is that the professor? Oh god. Oh, she got hit. Oh no. Can she? Oh, <laughs> dies mid air. You hate to see it, bro. Okay. Wait, Tyler's FFing? No, bro. No, come on, man. This is so winnable. <laughs> Bro, come on. We absolutely can win this. On my way. Okay, we're engaging on the Ash. He didn't hit the Power Ball, though. I think Ramus is just... I'm not sure if he's gonna live or not. If he's powerballing out, I'm just gonna run him here. Fight this guy. Ooh, we can get the pike reset there. I can probably maybe zone them off drag, I'm not sure. I could have probably saved my ult too, I think we're okay. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. We really need to make sure that we get drags with our with our gold lead because that's like gonna be win con I think because the Sivir is starting to scale up, and uh, if she goes LDR, which she probably will, we're gonna be in for a rough time. The reason why she'd go LDR is because she's just ram a singe and we both get a lot of armor from our kits. I'll probably end up buying Frozen Heart too if the game goes long enough. We'll see. Oh, a Kali. Is she a liver? She is a liver. Looks like Ramus is rolling out. I have 1.3k, but if they want to fight, I don't have ult yet. That's kind of dangerous. Super pushing top. Okay, let's go. We're gonna ghost. We're gonna buy. Okay. Trying to kite back. Can I keep going? Ults up. Yo, okay, Sivir. Actually, a lot of damage, Jesus. Gotta be careful. If Sivir starts autoing, we're gonna die. Okay, Akali, not bad. Oh, she actually has LDR. She rushed it. Jeez, bro. Okay. Second item. I was like wondering, I was like, this is a little early in the game for her to be completely obliterating me. Like, like I get it, if AD carries, like, if they stack up their lethal, then they should be able to, like, do some something, right? But it's like, damn, bro. <laughs> I'm getting demolished, and I'm pretty far ahead. I could go Zanya's, honestly, but I'm probably gonna get Rocket Belt. Rift is okay here too, but Rocket Belt's decent because we can like we can uh, Rocket Belt forward and then pop her spell shield, use the movement speed and catch her out, which is super good. Ooh, can we catch? Probably not. We'll try. See what happens. So many wards. On my way. Oh, he's going in. Okay, let's see what happens. Got the ash. 
I'm not I'm not playing in the Sivir because she has spell shield here and I can't break it by myself yet. Okay, nice, let's get out. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, well she died for it. I'm kinda worried about these Silas here. He jumps out. Can they bear him? Can they bear him? Akali, stop. No. You can't outplay it, bud. Run! Okay, nice. Okay, I think they just have this. I, w I would like for them to wait until I spawn and grab it, but the Silas and the Saber are there. Oh, she flashed in? Oh my golly! She jumped. I didn't get Baron Rip. She jumped into the uh, into the Ash Arrow and died to Arcane Comet, and um, that one thing Imperial Mandate. Mix, mix, swirl, mix. All right. Pretty, pretty funny. Let's even grab this tier one, maybe. I don't have Baron, unfortunately, but my Demolish just did a thousand damage. Okay, I got a day on the right, by on the left. I think we're fine, though. I think Ramus is just fighting over here. Okay, let's go ahead and Predator, not Predator, Rock Belt forward. Oh, oh my god. Big team fight, big team fight. All right, gonna keep going. Probably on Sivir. Very nice, let's go. And the FF, GG boys, hope you enjoyed that one. It was a banger, later.